Well, now that we've set the clocks back an hour, many of us find ourselves commuting or running errands in the dark. Perhaps you've noticed a glare or halo around lights at night. You know, when we're on the road, this phenomenon can be potentially dangerous. Tonight's house call sheds some light on night vision. There's a good chance your evening commute looks like this. As the days continue to get shorter, we find ourselves doing many of our everyday tasks under the cover of darkness. An earlier nightfall can take a toll on our vision. Optometrist Carol Doman says during the day, light comes directly into our pupil and focuses on the back of the eye. In darker conditions, when the pupil gets larger, what happens is the light's coming in centrally, but it's also coming in um, from different angles off to the side. So when that happens, that extra light that's coming in, it's not focusing like it should. So that will cause things like glare and halos. It's what we commonly refer to as night vision, and it can be especially bad this time of year. The worst offenders are the headlights of oncoming cars. Anyone can experience these changes, even those who have perfect vision. People with naturally larger pupils are particularly at risk. Most people are affected by glare, and then they'll need some sort of a solution for that effect. But anybody who wears uh, eyeglasses or anyone who wears contact lenses will find more of an effect um, in low light conditions. Robert Dalton is the executive director of the Opticians Association of Canada. His organization, in partnership with the Canadian Association of Optometrists, recently launched a campaign called Drive Away the Glare. Special coatings on glasses are a great start. Um, what they do is they allow more light to pass through the lens so it doesn't refract into the lens and diffract and then cause a flare into the, into the eye. So on uh, nighttime driving, especially for the halos of headlights, it will reduce those halos dramatically for eyeglass wearers. Help is also available for contact lens wearers. There are um, new contact lenses that have come out in the past couple years that actually help to, um, basically it helps to decrease what's called spherical aberration. So that is something that happens in low light conditions when the pupil is large. With these contacts, it helps to minimize that so that way um, the night vision is improved. Older lenses sometimes make that spherical aberration worse. Doman recommends staying up to date with your prescription. Even if you don't require corrective lenses, there are things you can do to make the halos go away. As far as the vehicle, you want to make sure that your headlights are nice and bright. Um, you want to make sure they're clean, especially when we get into um, you know, winter weather where we have uh, you know, snow and salt um, you know, building up. Definitely you want to make sure your windshield's clean, so, and that's inside and outside. Shedding some light on staying safe as we head into the winter driving season. You know, the older I get, the more of that is becoming a problem. The mm. lights, just the glare seems to be brighter. It does. And for more information on the Drive Away the Glare campaign, just visit the hot link sections of our website, atlantic.ctvnews.ca. So what, I have about another 10, 15 years before at that least, hits me? At least. Okay, that's a, let's make it <laughs> uh, Stay with us. We're about to meet a maritime entrepreneur who's... Uh, Hoping to get plugged into your 